Mexico friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is the final completed video of my rice water rinse challenge. If you have not seen my other videos, I have part one, part two, part three, and part four of me demonstrating what a rice water rinse is for hair growth, how it works, and how to make it. If you haven't seen any of those videos, you might wanna pause this one and go back and get caught up. But now that we're here at the finale, I'm gonna tell you everything I learned from this experience, everything you need to know before you do a rice water rinse, and really show you my true results after doing this once a week, every week for four weeks in a row. Okay, so let's backtrack. My very first video I did organic brown rice, second video I did jasmine rice, third video I did white rice, and my fourth video I did basmati rice. Out of all the rices, I've always been told and everything that I looked up and read and researched that it does not matter what type of rice you use. If I had to choose one, I think I might stick with the organic brown rice. I was really happy and surprised that it didn't have a smell even after it fermented for 24 hours. So that's probably what I would recommend if you're gonna go out and buy a certain rice for this. Otherwise, definitely just use whatever you have in the house, give it a try and use that. My second tip that I definitely recommend is that you should be adding an essential oil. This rice will get funky. If you let it sit for 24 hours, 48 hours, anything more than that, you're gonna need a little bit of an assistance so it doesn't smell like you're pouring cat pee on your hair. So I would recommend using lavender oil like I did, orange peels, or peppermint oil. Out of the three that I added, I think the lavender oil smelled the best. The oranges were kind of whatever, and the peppermint oil did make my scalp feel nice and tingly while I let it sit for a good like 30 minutes to an hour. Both lavender oil and peppermint oil are supposed to help stimulate hair growth, so either one you go with I think should be good. Peppermint kind of felt like it was doing a little bit more, but lavender had a better smell, so choose whichever one you want. How long should you let the rice water ferment? I would say always do at least a good 24 hours just to really get all the nutrients out of the rice. But if you have the time, go ahead and do it 48 hours. But I don't think you should do it past 48 hours. At that point, it's just like rotten. Like it's just so potent, so funky that you're almost pouring like just like fungus. I've been doing a lot of research and I haven't read anything that said that you get more benefits for doing it longer than 48 hours, but it's just gonna smell horrible. So stick to 24, maybe 48 max. Another important thing to talk about is that a rice water rinse is basically doing a protein treatment. Rice is protein, so you're kind of just loading up your hair with protein. If you are protein sensitive, that could have some negative effects on your hair. Protein sensitive means when you have too much protein, your hair feels really brittle, hard, or dry. I thought that there would be a difference between being low porosity and being protein sensitive. I really thought that you could have low porosity hair and not be protein sensitive because I do protein treatments and I haven't really noticed my hair feeling like dry or brittle. It doesn't feel amazing, but I don't think I've noticed those like negative side effects, so I didn't think it'd be a problem. But after doing this protein treatment every week, once a week for four weeks in a row, I think my hair kind of needed a break. After I got out the shower, it did not feel moisturized or better. And I think it's because my hair has the protein that it needs. So a way to avoid getting a protein overload is to balance it out with your moisture. You want equal parts protein and equal parts moisture. So what I noticed that my hair likes is doing the rice water rinse and then adding a non-protein hair mask on top of it. That way I'm getting the moisture from the hair mask and my protein from my rice, and then my hair feels great. Another protein topic that was pretty interesting for this challenge was I've always been told that you should only be doing a protein treatment once a month. That means you could deep condition with a moisturizing hair mask every single week, but then choose one week out of the month to do a protein treatment. This challenge makes you do that protein treatment every single week, and that could be a lot. So at this point, I might continue doing a rice water challenge, but if anything, I'm only gonna do it once a month, and then I'll give you guys those updates on my Instagram. So now, the moment you've been waiting for, the final length check. Let's see how much my hair has grown from four weeks ago.
right at the third button still. Let me go to this side. Yep, pretty much at the third button. So here's a compilation of all of my length check photos. As you can see from the first day I started to after using my first batch of my rice water rinse, you do see some hair growth. Granted, I did accidentally pull the wrong side, but there is some growth there. By the time I did my second rice water rinse, third and fourth, you see that I stayed pretty consistent at reaching that third button. But my strands do look thicker, meaning it's not as forced of a pull to reach that line. Just by looking in the mirror, I do feel like my hair has gotten longer. I am pouring the rice water rinse directly on the top of my head, so maybe it's not really reaching the nape of my neck, but maybe the top of my head is growing. Who knows? This is kind of why I don't really stress length over health, because it could drive you crazy. So overall, I think my hair looks fabulous. It looks bigger, it looks like it's growing, but maybe it's growing out instead of down, which is a very common thing with us curly people. So I'm not seeing like, crazy inches from like when I do my little pull down length check, but I do think my hair feels nice and full. And that could be because of these rice water rinses. In regards to shedding, this is how my hair started off before I used any rice water rinses. Then after my first rice water rinse, I noticed a very less amount of shedding. But then by the time the third week came around, I waited too long to detangle, so then I had a very large amount of shedding. And then by my fourth week, it kind of looked very similar to how I originally started. So let me know what you think. Do you think it worked for my hair? Do you notice the difference? Has it been looking bigger, shinier, healthier? Have you tried the rice water rinse? If you have, please leave a comment down below and let us know how you use your rice water rinses and how well it worked for you and your hair. If you enjoyed this rice water rinse series, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee to see if I continue to do the rice water rinses once a month. And that is where I'm gonna give you all of my updates in my Instagram story. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.